So we're just covered off of a great light heavyweight battle, man, for undisputed, man, between Dimitri Bivol and Archer Betterbiev. You know, it was a controversial ending. You know, some people having Bivol winning, some people had Betterbiev winning, but I don't think it was a robbery. It was a close fight that could have went either way, and Betterbiev won. And on top of that, though, I want to applaud Dimitri Bivol, man. Dimitri Bivol for taking it like a champ. No excuses made, and he's moving on. Or is he? Nigga, you's a bitch! If I tell you I'm good, probably you will say I'm boasting. But if I tell you I'm no good, you know one line. <laughs> What's good, boxing gang? You know it's your boy, Dr. PGNG. I'm praise God to get buddy back for another YouTube video. Banger, man. Yes, sir. Yes, man. I don't know what time it is. The doctor's in the house, man. So check this out. Today, I have received some news in the aftermath of Archer Betterbeev for Dimitri Bivol for the light heavyweight undisputed title that some people aren't moving forward with it as amicably as we initially thought, you know. Um, it's okay, though, you know. Despite what I said in the intro and what I showed you in the intro, I personally don't mind people protesting what a, a a result of a of a fight you know the reason why i don't mind is because it is a tool and system in place to be utilized by the fighters when they have a discrepancy or they feel like an injustice was served and they want to rectify the issue so i have no problem with that man so i just think that he's doing this in my opinion i don't think it was a robbery i don't think any foul play was at hand but according to him and his team you know more specifically his team because dimitri bivol is actually moving on according to him but you know you move as a unit and if your manager or your promoter or your team have an issue with it then they're going to push forward you know it's not it's not solely on Dimitri Bivol, you know. He might be trying to move forward. His team's like, hold on, man. You know, now nah, they're doing you wrong, my boy. So I got to, you know, we got to go take this up to the proper authoritative figures and try to fix this issue, you know, especially if they feel like that there was some shady business going on because according to the manager of Dimitri Bivol, he said that he saw, literally saw them, you know, by his own observation. He has ocular proof. You have the ocular proof. What did, did I just say? Ocular. Did that he saw Bivol's team, sorry, B better BF's team, primarily top rank his promotional team celebrating and ready to to acknowledge that better be of as a winner before the actual results were announced and that's not good you know what i'm saying that's not right that won't make you feel right especially if you went and put your heart out just like both teams did better be of and team bivol you know to get this victory on this on this monumental event you know um do i think that they should protest it it's not really up to me i could care less i actually do believe that if you want to protest something that you should do it now do I think it was a robbery? No. So do I think that you it needs to be protested? No. However, I just don't judge. You know, I don't judge in that regard because I have no problem with fighters utilizing every tool or anybody utilizing any tool to correct an issue, especially if they feel like the result was erroneous. However, I will say this. My issue comes with these so-called boxing fans who aren't really boxing fans. They're not fans of the sport. They are a fan of a particular boxer. And anytime a particular boxer does something if they like that boxer, they're okay with it. If they don't like the boxer, then they're a little less okay with it. You know what I'm saying? So let me give you some examples of some fighters that claimed to file a protest in the past. Oh yeah, you know that guy Teofimo? Oh yeah, he claimed to protest. Yo, yo, yo. You got a hey, hell of a fighter, but I won tonight, man. Everybody know that. Bullshit! Bullshit! Bullshit, 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 bullshit. The referee raised my hand. I won tonight. I don't care what anybody says, yo. I love you all. I won this fight. Teofimo. Nigga, you was a bitch! Uh, him and his team claimed to protest a Cambosis loss, you know what I'm saying? And they even had an excuse, said that they were sick. Was he legitimately, legitimately sick? That's none of my business. But I'm just telling you what transpired. Oh, you know that guy named Vasily Lomachenko? Oh yeah, him and his team, they protested the loss against Devin Haney too, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> So where's the same energy? Let's make sure we keep the same energy for them as well. Oh, you know who else protested? A guy by the name of Artem Delakian with his loss against Sergio uh, uh, Sago, excuse me, Sago Okui. Yeah, he, his, him and his team claimed to protest that too. You know, so I'm saying that if either you're going to keep the same energy with them as well as the other fighters that protest, or if you don't know about it, then say that. Is it that you don't know about it and you don't really watch boxing? Maybe that's what it is. Maybe you don't really watch boxing. You just you're just here to 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 offer emotional <laughs> uh, uh, an emotional prognosis you don't even know what really goes on in the sport. You know what I'm saying? You just here to just have your unbalanced uh, 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 irregular mostly irate emotions out here in the public to get a reaction you know but it, it, it's very crazy that you know um 
Devin Haney, who didn't protest, you know, Ryan Garcia failed to test in his in his situation. And the New York State Athletic Commission are the ones that determined the decision in Ryan's favor and turned it into a no contest. It had nothing to do with Devin Haney. Now, Devin Haney is suing. <laughs> he definitely suing. But hey, hold on. Oh, did you have an issue with Steve Cunningham suing Antonio Tarver when Antonio Tarver tested positive for PEDs in their draw? Oh, you didn't know about that one, huh? Is it that you didn't know? Or is it something else more nefarious? You know what I'm saying? Now, I'm not here to tell you who you could root for, who you can't root for, who you could say is weak or who you can't say is strong. That's your business. But I think you need to do some soul searching. I'm not saying which situation you should be upset with or which one you should be okay with. If you are to be okay with Bivol, be cool and be okay with Bivol. If you want to hate on Bivol or not, I don't want to say hate. If you want to disagree with Bivol, then do that. But if, you're, if, if somehow you aren't being fair in your assessments, then hey, you got to do some soul searching. I'm not telling you which one it is because somehow you're going to get mad at me and think I'm accusing you of something because you feel guilty. Nigga, you a bitch! <laughs> you got to do some soul searching and you got to do better. That's it, man. You know, so I don't think there's anything wrong with Bivol and his team protesting uh, his management and all that, you know, but they work as a team. I don't think there's anything wrong with Devin Haney and his team uh, uh, trying to rectify their issue and get compensated for their, for, for their slight. You know, I don't think there's anything wrong with Amir Khan getting banned for two years when he tested positive for Osterine. You know, I don't think there's anything wrong with that. You know, there's rules in place and they should be upheld. And if you feel like you were robbed in a decision, whether you're Oshiki Foster against Robson Kasesau, or if you feel like you're robbed with Vasily Lomachenko versus Devin Haney, or if you feel like you're robbed of Artem Delaki versus Sego Akui, or if you feel like you're robbed if you're a Teofimo versus Cambosis, or if you feel like you were robbed in your b against Better BF. Whether I agree with it or not, it's not the issue. The issue and the only concern should be how you feel. And if you feel that it, you have a right and an argument to protest and do it that's what the tool is there for so i just think that you know my gripe is not with the bivol team my gripe is with the, the hypocrisy in the boxer world man just because you like somebody doesn't mean what they doing is right and just because you dislike somebody doesn't mean what they're doing is wrong so y'all let me know what y'all think about that in the comments y'all come at me and come come at me if you want to man it's okay i'm built for it you know what i'm talking about don't be mad don't try to play the victim when the when, when the bully gets bullied you know don't try to play the victim now nah. but i appreciate y'all man don't forget to like the video remember with god we can do anything without god we're nothing the doctor's out from the hood to college, both worlds they had to meet Six degrees between us, so cold we're about to freeze But we're Florida boys, hot takes, we bring the heat We're moving the culture, the engineers to the streets